Nick, please tell us about your organization's mission. In particular, how does your ministry impact the lives of people? Yes, Chief Ministry is a ministry that uh, ministers to pastors and leaders in over 1,200 uh, native tribes in North, South, and Central America. And Chief comes alongside the pastors and leaders in the area of evangelism, discipleship, and helps uh, to help the uh, pastors be trained and reach their people for Christ, which is most effective. They have their testimonies. They don't know how to speak to their uh, people and their tribes. So Chief comes alongside them and uh, helps train their leaders in uh, whatever areas of evangelizing their people, discipling their people, and any areas of helps. Uh, now here in Arizona alone, there's over uh, 21 tribes in Arizona, one of the largest states for Native Americans. And um, our ministry is also helping these Native leaders on the 21 tribes here in Arizona. And uh, one of the hardest reached uh, tribes are the Hopi uh, people north of uh, the Winslow area. And uh, they um, are hard to reach because they're a very traditional people in the religion. And they've asked Chief to come alongside them. They have seven churches up there. Mm. And uh, when we came up there two years ago, uh, all seven churches had, uh, didn't have any pastors. So we went up there, began to train the leaders, and now there's uh, four pastors out of the seven churches up there. So uh, we're praising the Lord uh, for uh, that ministry to the Hopi people. And again, uh, through the ministry of Chief, we're able to help these pastors reach the, uh, their people in a hard area of ministry because of the traditional religion. Now, it must be exciting to watch. Do you get to see uh, in the Hopi people or some of the other nations God actually moving and changing the lives of people? I do, actually. As a matter of fact, uh, just last month, uh, I was able to uh, baptize a traditional believer that had been a traditional religious uh, believer in the Hopi religion for 61 years mm -hmm. and a year and a half ago at the uh, Hopi uh, camp, Christian camp, he came to know uh, Jesus Christ as his personal savior and then he came to the church up there about uh, six months ago and said that he felt that he wanted to make public what had already happened in his heart through baptism. So we were able to baptize him as a believer, and that was really a praise to God for that to happen because he had been a traditional believer so, for so many years. What a, what a marvelous story. Are, are volunteers important to what you do? Yes, they are very important. Uh, we need volunteers. Uh, most of the churches on the reservations have been there for a hundred years or longer, wow. so they're in great need of repair. So uh, we have uh, work groups uh, that come up there. We could use volunteers in that area. And as a matter of fact, this summer at the Hopi camp, uh, the junior high group from uh, Scottsdale Bible was able to come there and work with the Hopi youth at the camp. Mm -hmm. So we have those availabilities of short-term mission trips as well as longer-term mission trips for volunteers. Well, thank you for sharing this story. It's, it sounds uh, marvelous what you're doing for God, not only with the, the tribal peoples here in Arizona, but around the world. Mm -hmm. And I, I appreciate you coming in and sharing your story, and I hope that, that, that someone watching this video will raise their hand and, and give some help. Thank you. Thank you.